Alright guys, what is up? It's me, it's Jacob. I've literally shot this video fucking, I want to say six or seven times. I've been sitting here for half an hour trying to, trying to talk this out, talk today out. Today's a big day guys. It's the day before I leave the country um, for the first time in 12 months. I'm taking my opportunity to get back to Australia quarantine free at the moment. New Zealand has a travel corridor that's opened with uh, Australia. It has been in jeopardy in the last few weeks, but thankfully it's, it's in place at the moment. I was able to get a ticket. I'm flying out tomorrow, being Friday the 12th of February, um, Auckland to Sydney, and then I make my way from Sydney to Brisbane, and then Brisbane to Rockhampton. I am moving to Rockhampton, guys. I'm moving from Christchurch, my hometown where I've spent the last 12 months, the majority of it, to Rockhampton, which is a, a town in... Uh, central Queensland and I've never been there before but my two darling daughters are living there at the moment with their mother and I am traveling to visit and slash move I honestly don't know what I'm going to walk into and I am extremely anxious in fact this whole week uh, you know I've been not only tying off all my loose ends here packing my shit but also feeling extremely anxious as to what situation I'm going to walk into. Um, there were reasons why I left uh, Alice Springs those 12 months ago. There, is, there are reasons why I left my, my, my kids who, who deserve their dad to be in their lives. And that was because I was no good. Uh, and if you're no good yourself, then you're certainly going to be no good to anyone else. And I'm not going to say that I'm perfect yet, but I am going to say that I'm ready to accept that responsibility of being a dad. I feel like I'm at a crossroads right now. I feel like I'm 30 years of age and I need to man up. I, I need to man up. I need to become an, an adult, a responsible adult. All I've had to worry about this last 12 months is myself. That's it. And that is why I've created 450 videos on my YouTube channel in the last 12 months. I said to myself, I'm going to put all of my time into, well, just make, getting myself right, but you know, throughout doing that, I wanted to create content. It's, it's been positive for me, um, and I've done that, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know a lot of you have, but this is a real transition. This is this is scary, but fucking exciting. I mean, I've I've wanted to, to <laughs> I've wanted to see my kids since the day I left them. You know, 12 months ago in Alice Springs. So they're living in Rockhampton at the moment. I've never been there, <laughs> never been there in my life. Uh, it's the 22nd biggest by way of population city in Australia. It's got 75,000. And to put that into perspective, the city I'm in right now, Christchurch, has 500,000. The city I lived in, in the Northern Territory, Alice Springs, has 28,000. So I was living in a, in, a, in a far smaller and more remote place than I am going to be. But still, we'll see. And you'll see, because I'm taking my camera with me. I told you guys I was going to take a break from YouTube, and that is exactly what I will do. From putting the pressure on myself of getting up from this very bed, okay, to this very computer desk, and, and, and making content every single day. And <laughs> some days I haven't, but most days I have. Most days I've done at least something towards bringing out con <clears throat> content on my YouTube channel every day for the last... 12 months and I'm proud of that but times are changing so anyways look this video has probably gone on too long I'm going to give you a little tour um, of my room I'm going to show you my bags that are packed and uh, for, for, for no reason really and just to make this vlog go a little bit longer and then I will be signing off for the night and I'll be with you tomorrow morning because that will be travel day and the the vlog, as per usual, is going to be titled Christchurch to Auckland. The next one's going to be titled Auckland to Sydney. The next one's going to be titled Sydney to Brisbane. And the last, the fourth and final travel vlog is going to be titled Brisbane to Rockhampton. And then I'll be with my kids Sunday morning. And I can't wait. So, my daughter Tate... Another reason why I'm going at this particular time is because she turns three um, on February the 20th and I'm going to arrive there on February the 14th. So six days, six days, uh, <laughs> six days uh, spare, you know, but a short six days, you know, those six days are going to go like that. 
you know, if I couldn't get there because of COVID, I would really start to question everything, you know what I mean? But thank, thank God, fingers crossed, touch wood that nothing happens overnight and I get there safe and sound and quarantine free and, and you know, thank to, thanks to the New Zealand government and the way that they've handled COVID. So anyways, let me turn the camera around and show you guys what I've been working with this whole entire time. I mean, you've seen me through, you've seen me through, through the lens of the camera, but you haven't seen behind the scenes. So I may as well show you before we leave. I have packed up a fair few things. Um, it's a lot tidier than what it has been, <laughs> which is good for my OCD, but this is, well, I mean, this is the chair that I bought recently. This is my desk. That's the screen that you guys have seen. I was just watching some rugby, believe it or not, but that, that is, mate, that is an absolute beauty, isn't it? Look at it. Stunning. You guys won't know it yet, but I tried to do a tail whip on a scooter. So that's the scooter. Uh, I also tried to do a kick flip on a skateboard. So that's the skateboard. And last but not least, I tried to do a dunk on a 10 foot hoop. And that is the exact ball that I used. That's my helmet, which used to be up there. Another thing used to be up there, which was my 100,000 subscriber plaque, and I plucked that off the wall and put it into my bag, because that is what I do. Wherever I go, whoever I'm with, I always take my 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque. It is that important to me. That important to me, which means that you guys are that important to me. Now, so what you can see down here is some sports gear. We have five sports bags in total, five sports bags. Uh, the bottom one, I'm led to believe, is American football. Then you've got rugby, then you've got martial arts, then you've got the gym, and then you've got, last but not least, sprinting. Now, I would be taking my sprinting shoes to get into some track work in Rockhampton, but I've already looked up and they don't have a synthetic track, so I won't be taking my uh, track shoes, my spikes. Which is, you know, slightly disappointing, but I'm sure we'll live. Anyway, if you're wondering, this is what I'm taking. We've got a suitcase with a fair few things. Hopefully it shuts <laughs> tomorrow morning, so that's gonna look like that. We've got my hand luggage, which is a satchel and a camera bag, boom. And then we've got my second piece of main luggage, which is this. And that, my friends, is an iMac. <laughs> so I'm not taking my laptop, um, but I am, effectively, taking my iMac. So um, that's about it. <laughs> what time is it? 7.51. 7.51 on a beautiful Christchurch summer's evening. I'm not going to lie. So one thing I'm not going to miss is, well, sorry, one thing I am going to miss <laughs> from Christchurch is the, the evenings. Um, once the intense sun, because the New Zealand sun is extremely intense, especially when there's no clouds, uh, even when there is clouds, I get burnt to a crisp. But um, once the sun goes, it's really, really nice. Uh, but I'm going to a place that is probably on average about 60 to 70% humidity. And at the moment, averaging around about 30 to 32 to 34 degrees Celsius every single day. So that's a little hotter than what I've been used to. But that's Australia for you. And uh, I'm going back. I spent nine, nine years and nine months over there from 2010 to 2020. Um, I did a lot of growing up over there. Uh, I've done a lot of growing up back here for the last 12 months and I'm going to do even more growing up when I arrive back over there to, to be a dad, like I've said. So I'll show you guys one more thing. If you were following along at home, one of the last adventures that I took was down south to Queenstown. Stayed there for six weeks. And this, my friends, was my mode of transport. <laughs> this one right here. So for those that followed along at home, that's it. And that is the last thing I'll show you. So this is the day before heading back to Australia to be a dad to my kids. And I want to welcome you to my trip. I don't know when I'm going to be able to edit these and put these up. But as long as I shoot them, that's the main thing. 
I'll be kicking myself if I don't shoot this trip because it's a big one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.